Hello everyone, a new map just came out called Web and it looks really cool so I thought I'd make a video exploring it and giving my initial thoughts on the map and I'd also like to talk about strategies that I think will be effective in this new map. I made sure not to play in the new map at all before making this video so that I could go into this with a fresh mindset. So the gameplay in this video is the first time I've ever played in the new web map and I'm recording this commentary right afterwards, so it's still fresh in my mind. With that said, I hope you enjoy this map analysis video. Right away, the first thing I noticed is that the main platform is actually bouncy, which is something unique to this map and really cool. There's never been a map in this game before with a central platform like that, so already this map feels really unique. I like that it's just a bit of bounce and not too over the top because that would just be crazy. And it also seems, I don't know if I'm just imagining this, but it also seems like the center of the platform has less bounce to it than the sides do, but I haven't played enough in this map to know if that is actually the case yet. I ha I'll have to confirm that I suppose. Something else that I noticed right away is that there's actually this really neat glow around the main yellow panels and it looks really awesome. It's like it's uh, surrounded by mist, you know, it looks really cool, especially because it seems like the mist is actually like moving and shifting. And I think that helps the map feel almost, you know, more alive. I think the mist is actually moving and shifting. It's just uh, slowly, so it's kind of hard to see. I actually heard that this map was inspired by a space telescope that just launched and the developer made this map to sort of pay tribute to it and I think that's really cool. In my opinion, the best maps are the ones with strong themes where everything in the map sort of feels like, you know, like like it's there for a reason. And I think I think that there is definitely a strong theme present in this new web map and I really like that. I think like, I know, like, immersion is not that important in a .io game, but it is nice to ha kind of have that feeling of, uh, I guess, conformity within a map. You know, it makes it feel, uh, it makes it feel more, I don't know, like, rich, like, more in-depth. I, I don't know how to describe that, but I like themes is what I'm saying, I guess. Something else that I noticed, which is actually very interesting, is that when you compare this map with the ones that already exist, this map seems to be a lot more vertical. Even the main central platform encourages players to go up because of its bounce mechanic. In most maps that have been made so far, the maps were designed much more horizontally, which means you didn't have to fight from midair positions very often. However, this map seems to be designed a lot more vertically, and because of that, in this map, a lot of the fighting ends up happening midair. And that is definitely something to keep in mind because it means the Barret is actually going to be a less effective weapon in this map than it normally would be in a more horizontal map. I'm guessing in a map like this, a weapon like the rifle is probably going to be one of the most or one of the more efficient weapons to use. I shouldn't say most, but I, I think it'll definitely be one of the more efficient weapons to use since the accuracy of the Barret drops significantly when taking midair shots. And this map forces you to fight midair a lot more than you normally would. So it's my guess that rapid fire users and you know people who use any kind of rapid fire weapon will I realize that's redundant. I just realized that rapid fire users and anyone who uses ra okay, I'll, I'm uh, I'm I'm wasting time. I'm sorry. I'll I'll restart that sentence. It's my guess that rapid fire users will have more of an advantage in this map. There we go. I think something else that will end up working in the favor of rapid fire users in this map is that pretty much all of the viable cover positions can actually be fired down on from near the top of the map. So I think people who use weapons like the rifle will definitely have an edge in this map, which is again probably something worth noting. If I'm just going off my initial impressions and looking at how weapons are balanced currently, I think as of right now, the most effective weapon setup to use while playing in this map is probably going to be something like the rifle as your main weapon and the RPG as your secondary weapon. 
Of course, I haven't played a ton in this map yet, and so these are just my, yeah, these are just my initial thoughts. So, of course, it's possible I'm wrong on this, but I think so far from uh, the evidence I've seen, it does seem like Rapid Fire will have a very strong place in this map. Another thing I wanted to bring up is that I really like the placement of the grenade boxes near the top. Uh, like, I don't know what that thing is called. Like, is it a satellite or a, is it part of the telescope? Near the top of the big yellow panels. Uh, I really like the placement of the grenade boxes because it means other players can't just camp on the other side of the panels since you can actually apply pressure to their positions without entering their line of sight by bouncing grenades and this can you know make for some really fun fights and uh, I think it's really cool. Alright so all in all I think the new map named Web is really fantastic. I think it is a very unique and interesting map. It offers both unique visuals and has a unique map design. Because of the way the map is designed, gameplay in it will feel refreshing and distinct from other maps. I think it's also really cool to get maps with strong themes and uh, I think that helps them feel very, it helps them feel very independent, I guess, of all the other maps. Uh, like, you know how some maps, they sort of just, they feel like, like they, uh, I don't want to say this because I love this game, but I'll be honest. Some of the maps sort of like copy each other and take very strong elements from each other. I, I think you know what I mean. I think you know which maps I'm talking about, but um, because of that, it's really nice to get a map that is thematically kind of unique and consistent. I think that's really nice. I am kind of going to over extrapolate here, but I think the reason this map turned out really well is because the developer of this game was designing a map after something he's passionate about. I've seen him talk about space and space programs before in the Discord, so I think the topic of space is something that he really cares about, and that shows in the great map design of Web. In my experience, whenever anyone is working on a project, they always do better if they can link it to something that they are passionate about. And again though, I, I think I'm just over extrapolating here, but uh, I, I, think, uh, I think he made this map, you know, uh, with passion and care and it, it shows. It's a really cool map, I think. I'm very happy to see unique looking map designs and I can't wait to see more. I think something that would be really awesome would be the introduction of dynamic maps, which means that the map would actually change in some way as the map as the match progresses. Uh, in fact, I think what would be even more interesting than that is uh, if a map was made that allows players to actually interact with certain aspects of the map to create changes to the landscape. I think that'd be really cool. I, I think maybe I'm explaining it poorly, but the idea I have in my head, I think, is really cool. <laughs> At the same time, though, having maps that actually shift and change as the match is progressing might cause latency issues for some players, so maybe it's unrealistic. Uh, by the way, though, speaking of latency, the person I am playing against in this video is actually a good player, but the reason they normally don't play this well in public lobbies is because, from what I understand, the game really slows down for them when lots of people are in the match, which makes it harder for them to play. So I'm glad we were able to play against each other in a one-on-one -on -one match, because this, because this was really fun. I have a bad habit of like shortening stuff with slang and stuff, and uh, it's fine doing talking, but I, 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 I'm, I'm going on a tangent. I'm sorry. I'll move on to the next point. <laughs> I think that Web is a great map. It looks really nice. I love the bright panels shining in the dark. The Those yellow panels, they look awesome. And most importantly, the map design itself is very unique and encourages the use of new tactics through elements like the central platform being bouncy, which is cool. You know, it's always, um, I think it's always cool when a map is made that actually encourages new forms of playstyles and new tactics and forces you to adjust and adapt. I think that's really neat. However, there are two areas that I think this map could improve in. This map was fun to play in while in a small lobby, but because of its vertical nature and the overall map size, 
I think in very large lobbies where there are tons of players and the match is full, it will end up feeling a bit cramped and too tight, especially because of the lack of cover near the central platform. I think this map would benefit from either a bit more space, a bit more cover, or maybe even both. I, uh, I think that would help it feel less overwhelming in very large lobbies. It would also be really nice to see more interactable objects in the map. For example, in a few maps that already exist in the game, there are spaceships that players can launch themselves up to, hot air balloons they can use, or cars they can move around, and I think small things like that really give a map a lot of character. And while the web map is very good, I think that it would benefit a lot by having an interactable element. I think that those little interactable elements, you know, like like I said earlier, they give a map character, but it, it makes it's just so much fun, honestly, like to just have some element you can, you know, goof around with, uh, you know, with like a group of friends, like it's awesome. Like, I think those are always good things to add uh, into maps. Like, it, it's it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Um, anyways though, I think that uh, other than those two areas, this map is very good and it's definitely a very fun map to play in. Currently, it is one of the more unique maps in the game and all in all, I think the developer did a very good job on this map and I can't wait to play more matches in it. Okay everyone, I'm sure you are now all very tired of hearing me speak so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this map analysis video was at least somewhat interesting and provides a good introduction to the new map.